So if you already have the badge, you can't go back through where I'm about to show you. So, but to get the badge, what you're going to want to do, open this up. Get a flashlight, something that can illuminate. But you do need the scissors, the shears. You definitely need that. And you should have all these items here. It should be all free. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to do is head over this way up the stairs now what i mean by you can't go back through the area once you get the badge is because a crucifix wall will literally block your way if you have the badge already so once you're here you can go down into the waters and you can go off to this side what you do then is continue forward and you're going to see some vines or I, I don't know what you want to call them i think the vines yeah so go ahead and cut them by bada bing bada boom then you're going to swim down this way and you are going to see Big Mama. Go ahead up to them, interact. You're going to get a black screen and then you're going to get this nice little cutscene of you just tapping her and then you just reappear and that is how you get the Scrumble badge. Open up your items. You can either use any four of these light source. Lighter, flashlight, bulk light, or candle. I'm going to use a lighter. But you do need to equip the scissors, the shears. You definitely need these, okay? Now, once you have all your items, go to your map. Then go to the nest, the main place. Once you're there, you're going to turn to your right and head down this tunnel this way, okay? Now, what's going to be down this way is quite a bit of turning. So make sure you follow along. Careful! Whoa! Alright, so the owner actually came in and fix the little boo-boo so we're good to go so like i was saying make sure you pay attention to where we are going so go ahead continue forward this way and we're gonna go off to the left here then you're gonna continue forward through the water then we're gonna head down to the left here down these tracks this is continue forward then we're gonna look to our right where we're gonna find a door walk into this door then you're going to see a cave system. This is where you're going to want to use your light source of any kind. You can go left or right, but I'm going to go left because it's a little brighter. Then go to your right. Continue forward. And you're going to keep going forward this way. And you're going to have a three-way intersection. An opening, a mine shaft, and a bunch of lockers. You're actually going to go here to your left. Then you're going to go over here where you see some vines. Cut the vines. So pull out the shears. Boom. There we go. Walk into the door. And it is bright in here. And there it is. The barrel of starlight. What you want to do is find a key. And there are five locations on where to find it. The first one, actually a lot of them. I think three are here in the spawn area. If you go over here to the stalagmites or the sharp rocks. Go behind it. It can spawn right here in this corner. Now, it's different in every server. These are just the locations of where it can spawn. All right. Then head up the stairs. Another spot is over here. Right at this table. Open the drawer. And it could be inside there. Our next, our next one. Our next one is going to be in this water. I'm just going around because it is actually closer to this side. I do recommend getting some light source because it can get a little dark in there. Now, once you're in here, you go swim over to there it is, this corner. And mine is here in the water and it does not disappear. So, I think if I'm correct, it is the same for everybody in the server. Now, once you've got the key, there we go. But don't worry, I'm going to show you guys the other two locations. Now, these other two locations are actually the way to get to where we need to go once we have the key. But let's go ahead and first focus on the fourth key location. So walk or swim into this water. You will need your shears for this one. So what you're going to do is get close. Chop, chop. Get out your light. And what you're going to do is swim and hold and hug the left side. And it could be right in this area the fourth key now the fifth key what you're gonna do is turn around and go back the way you came so these are the vines that you just chopped if you look up just go up here and then get onto this rock and then walk over to this go ahead open this up boom 
and then open this up where is it there it is it's up there there we go now a cool little trick if you take vitamins then the the starlight you will have permanent speed look at us we are sanic now <laughs> all right so continue forward this way go keep going keep going keep going i'm actually going to use a different light source light source i believe this is better there we go boom we're gonna go up here through this door right here then you're gonna see two doors you're gonna continue forward okay remember that door back there then take this door here to your left walk forward there is going to be a drawer open that drawer up and that is the fifth key location so those are all the key locations if you want i just recommend going ahead and just making a private server and keep resetting until you have one of those three keys that are on the surface or closer by instead of doing this now if you got your key here then what you're going to do is turn back around head back through this door go to your right go back through this door and then if you remember this other door right here this is now the way to get to the guiding light once you have your key you come to this door right here okay go ahead walk forward keep going and essentially we're gonna be just doing a little walking simulator now here you're gonna see two lockers and a door go through this door right here then keep on going keep going beep boop you go past this door on your left and just continue forward and then go like this up over the boxes through this door then uh where is it there we go <clears throat> there we go through this door continue forward you're gonna need to do some cutting of the vines there we go let me get the light back out gotta do it again the cutting of some vines this one can be a little tricky sometimes there we go boom then you're gonna go past that door and go down this hallway like so Woo! then continue down the hallway like this keep going keep going keep going keep going until you get to the door with the padlock equip the key then activate then go ahead and get your light source back out then you're gonna be in this really dark area if you actually just go under and then back up everything lights back up then look to your left and you're gonna see oh the guiding light all right guys so mischievous light what you're going to need to do is first get a couple items. I recommend either having a, the lighter, the flashlight, the bulk one. You need the shears or the scissors. And I do recommend using at least the vitamins. And if you've got the starlight, go ahead and get this too. Now, before we can even start looking for levers, go ahead and scroll down to the outside. Teleport there. All right. Boom. There we go. And what I recommend is that you take the vitamins and then drink some chug jug. And now you will be infinitely fast for the whole rest of the time you're here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and head down this sewer hole like so. This is where it gets interesting. We have five levers that we need to find in this map down here at least. However, these levers will be in different locations for you, okay? For me, it'll be in one spot. For you, it's going to be in a different spot. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try my best to show you all the locations that I know. Um, another good rule of thumb is if you don't want to just follow along, just look around on the walls as you go down the levels, okay? That's another good idea you can do. However, these are the spots I know for sure. Starting off with right here, okay? This spot right next to this pump, it could be on this wall. Then at the end over here, it could be on this wall right here as well. I have not seen any on the other side, but I guarantee you there could be. Um, same thing, there could be some down there maybe. If we head down the stairs, there could be one right here right as you come down. Another one is behind these lockers right over there. Then moving on, we're going to continue down the stairs. There could be maybe one down there. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have not seen any down on this level. So I'm going to continue going down all the way like so. 
once you get down to the bottom floor there could be one right inside of this room okay there could be one right here on the wall there could be more on these walls but then if you exit go to your right there could be one right here on this pillar then we're gonna head back this way these are the stairs we just came down continue forward now i bet there could be some over here as well i'm not 100 sure though if we walk over here this is still the path that we have to take to get the mischievous light all right there could be one in here as well i'm not sure but once you walk in you're gonna continue forward this way i'm gonna turn this light on there we go continue forward and you're gonna be in a roundabout room pretty much it's just a circle if you go here to your right there could be one here on the wall there could be actually one inside this room and there's one on this wall that's actually invisible okay so you just gotta make sure you if it's there make sure you can see the interact button then exit that room go forward there could be one also here on the wall of this door there could be probably one inside of any of these rooms then continue to this door this will continue you forward there could be one here on this wall right here this is where you need the shears for the vines let's go get a little dark here there we go boom continue forward i call this the bridge room because it is literally a bridge but there could be one on any of these pillars let's see is there any on these pillars nope none on these pillars then we got to use the vines to cut or use the scissors to cut continue forward next room here we go you're gonna go ahead and there could be one on this wall here probably walk inside there could be one in here continue this way there could be one in here as well then oh whoa what's going on here i'm so fast um there could be one in this door here in the middle go up the stairs right up here it could be on this wall right here okay then once you've collected all five that should be all the ones that i know you could go through this door here once you go through this door the doorways should all be open this is what you're unlocking or these doorways and once they're all unlocked you're gonna go ahead use your shears one more time and go into the light all right so what you gonna want to do is get some form of light so then you can find it um i'm just gonna go ahead and use this then you're gonna want to head over to the outside area once you've done that go up the stairs here to the main door go to your left and go to this back corner there's going to be a sword here right in the corner pick it up and now you've got a sword sadly you can't use it then you're going to teleport to jeff's shop there we go turn around head over this way to this open sewer pipe you're going to climb up into the stinky poo poo water and then climb up this vine like so don't worry the water is clean to drink i lie no it's not then you're gonna go down this way you don't have to exactly do what i'm doing right here but you go see a cutout and then walk through equip your sword and enter